call on Mary McStreet. It has been put in the agenda by David uh, Johnson. I know that we have Mr. I think I saw, uh, yes, David Wusher. Um, good evening, sir. Hi, good evening. Uh, David Boucher, Senior Designer from National Grid, 1101 Turnpike Street, North Andover. Tonight I'm before you at this ordinance meeting to ask for a relocation. As shown on the diagram, we were provided of five poles. State DOT <clears throat> is doing a small project over there, uh, right at the corner of Merrimack Street and South Broadway. And they're, they're um, doing over the area and the streets and putting in uh, um, various things, uh, handicap ramps, um, and we need to move our poles out of the way uh, for the project so that they it would enable them to go forward with their plan that they, they you know, all the different things that they want to put in. A couple of the locations there I know are right in the middle of the sidewalk and that's right where they're putting the handicap ramp. So um, as shown in the diagram, that's where we would like to place those poles. In the end, um, one of the only one that's moving a lot is um, 99 is moving approximately 10 feet and the others are moving five, nine, three and three feet. Um, but um, that's pretty much the, what, what we're asking for here is uh, we're just moving them to um, help out the state uh, with their project to go forward. I don't know when the project's starting, but once we have this passed through the, t the city, uh, it would enable uh, us to let them know uh, we're ready to go and they can put everything into motion. Okay, so if this is going to be a day project or that's going to be taking more than one day? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I believe it goes a little bit further than uh, what you see on, on the diagram. It goes a little bit further down Merrimack Street past Carver um, and then um, the South Broadway area. So that's at least that section of what they're doing. So it's a lot more than a day. I don't know how long they're going to take to do all that, but yeah. Okay. Because I know that is a busy um, street um, all day long. So it's going to be interfering with the traffic, but that's something that you don't know yet until they start working. Um, yes, that's correct. We don't know what we're going to come up with for traffic on a daily basis. Um, it, if and when we need to get police details, we do that all the time so that the traffic can flow as best as possible about, around the situation. Um, whether it be a normal work day uh, where we're doing this type of work that's not an emergency or during an emergency, it's pretty much the same way we handle um, what we need to do for traffic flow, so. So who will determine if you were going to be needing a police detail? The, the foreman uh, in our office will determine whether or not he needs a police detail according to the, the busyness of the area, how many lanes are there. Um, he makes a decision on whether or not we need it for our safety and uh, for the, obviously, the, the people's safety too, for the, for the traffic. Uh, to flow without having any any issues with um, well, hopefully, uh, you know, to minimize any kind of issues with um, accidents and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to open the floor, but or if he is any counselor that has any question, but I'm also going to recognize the presence of uh, our president, LaPlante, I don't know if that is part of his area, and if he, he will, if he, he will have any question for you, Councillor. Any question before I pass the floor to our Mr. President Laplante? Any question? Or you prefer him to start throwing all the question and then see if the, after that you're going to have any question? No question, Councillor Laplante. 
Uh, Counselor, I, I actually uh, wasn't prepared, nor do I have any questions on this matter. I'm actually here for several of the other matters that are coming up soon. So I'm, I am good at this point. Thank you. Well, that's not going to take time for you to formulate a question. So this <laughs> is your time. It's now or never. It is now because I, I lose the gavel of the full council. I, I do realize that. Uh, no, I, I think if I have any questions, I certainly can get in contact with the representatives at the uh, at the utilities, Mr. Johnson, and I can have a conversation. But thank you. Okay. No, any question? Um, motion to stop. I'm looking for a motion to send it with favor recommendation toward a public hearing. Motion to, uh, motion to approve. Second. The motion has been made properly. Second. All those in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. Amaya, can you do the 30 days wave? This is going to go be ordering a uh, public hearing. The, okay. We can't do this now. Okay. Roll call. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? I don't see him connected. I think he's left the meeting. Okay. Um, you might continue. And Chair, um, Chairwoman Stella Reyes? Yes. Thank you. Mad Madam Chair? Yes. Through you, if, if I could ask Mr. Boucher to give me a call tomorrow at his convenience, uh, my number's all over the place. I would appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I will... Uh... I'll give you a call um, sometime after nine o'clock. Sound good? That works for good. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, right, Mr. Thank you. Chair. It's always yep. a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. I'll see you another, another time. Thank I'm you. Sure. Yep. Bye-bye. So, thank you. Our next document is document 8821, always stop sign at the intersection of Bellevue Street and Helpful. Uh, it has been put in the agenda by Councillor Payano. Councillor, can I get a motion to send document 8821 to Officer Cano and table the item? So move. Second. Motion has been made. Properly second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, roll call for document 8821. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Noted. Um, and Chair, Chairwoman Stella Reyes? Yes, the motion is to send it up to Officer Cano and also to table, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Next document is 8121. Um, Pencil. Uh, for I'm some sorry, reason, 8921. Excuse me, yes. Madam Chair. Yes. Uh, excuse. Um, you said 8121. Always. 89. 89. 89. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You know, getting all is not fun. Um, so it's 8921. Counselor, uh, the applicants on this item had request to withdraw because it's an incorrect in, in this item and she wished us to send it for withdrawal. Can I get a motion to send document 8921 to, for withdrawal? A move. Second. The motion has been made properly seconds. All those in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. Okay. Roll call for document 8921 that was sent for withdrawal. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez noted. Um, Chairwoman Stella Reyes? Yes. Three, zero votes. Thank you. I'm just getting a text from Mr. Gonzalez that he is trying to connect him, but he's having a problem. Um, troubleshooting problem. So um, once he get be able to connect, he will be back with us. 
Next document is document 9021, 15 minute parking in front of 109-113, South Union Street from, from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Any other parking restrictions except winter parking and street sweeping restriction are resigned Councilor Leplan. This is one of your items. It is. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, through you to my colleagues. Uh, this is one of three items I have on this evening. Uh, this was brought to me um, by a, a business owner um, on South Union Street. Um, as we're always trying to figure out parking situations to enhance business opportunities, but also to try to make sure that it's less impactful for those during the off hours. And one of the things uh, Madam Chair, that I'm trying to uh, really focus on is when I provide these parking um, ordinance proposals that I really try to limit the restrictions to only the times that, uh, that, that, that the business in this particular case needs it. So when they're operational, that way we're not, we're not uh, restricting the parking when there's no need to have parking restrictions. So this one right here has those particular times, those, that, those are the times of operation. And I obviously with, with the alternate parking and the street sweeping and all that stuff, there still needs to be some of that action uh, at the appropriate time. So those things still stay in play because for obvious reasons. So I would encourage and ask through you, Madam Chair, that this, um, this document has the police department for, uh, for their review. Okay. So um, the app, I mean, the business owner, I'm sure they is, is aware about any restriction as I'm sure that you went over with him that if it's something that needs to be changed, it's gonna be in this ordinance, correct? It's, so, so yeah, so we're looking to change this through an ordinance. Uh, this is uh, just in case people wanna have an idea of what, where this is, but this is Carlos Cakes on South Union Street. Now that, that may be more familiar just to, to you and to the membership. Um, and so they, he's uh, expanding his operations there to a floral company as well. So, um, but he, he doesn't need it all night. He just needs it during the day. And so if we can get the, that I went there with a the police officer and inspirational service as well to, to look at the spot. So I feel comfortable that we're going to get a positive recommendation on it, but I do want to make that official. Okay. Counselor, any question before we send it or make the motion? Motion to approve. Again. Motion to send it to officer Cano. Uh, oh my God. I still have officers Cano. Uh, Officer Cano, and also to table uh, the item. Motion to table. Second. Motion to table and send to um, Officer Cano. Cano. So the motion has been made properly second. All those in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. The ayes have. Okay. Roll call for document 9021 that was sent to Officer Cano and also tabled. Councilor Selena Reyes. Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez. Yes. And Chairwoman Stella Reyes. Yes. Thank you, motion pass. Next document is 9121. Stop sign on Foster Street, northbound and southbound at the Box 4 Street intersection. Uh, Councillor Laplan, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Ma Madam Chair. Uh, again, this is another, this is the second of two uh, constituent requests uh, that I've offered to put on the council agenda. This part of the, a, a part of my district is a, a, an area that's getting more and more congested and with more and more speed comes more and more opportunities for accidents and some damage. And I know um, I, I just want to give a shout out, Madam Chair, to one of your colleagues there, Councilor Selena Reyes, who's been so impactful in a positive way in many of the parts of the neighborhoods. And, and um, through you, I like, I'd like to thank her for, for, for what she did a couple of years ago and continues to this day, introducing uh, folks and residents uh, to me if they don't know me yet, and then trying to work with me to try to make things happen. So, and that's why through you, Madam Chair, that's how partnerships work. We work together with that large counselors and we make things happen. So I do appreciate that. Uh, but this is one of those instances where we have a neighbor who wants to see if this can happen. And one more time, I'd like to get this committee's recommendation to send to the police department so they can review and study it and see if it makes sense. 
Okay, yes, I'm very familiar with this um, street. Um, I don't even know how that has been not requested it before. I know that every day we are dealing with something different. We can go back years ago, but we have to be expecting that it's going to be um, a lot of changes. Thing that has been working for 20 years is no longer working. And we have to kind of go for a different measurement. And yes, I thank you, Councillor Selena Reyes, because she also um, made me be part of that meeting and, I, and they requested her back then. Um, sorry, that has been taking so long, but I think it, we are moving in the right directions. This is the time that we have to do whatever we have to do. And I encourage all of you that uh, whenever you place an item in the agenda, just do what Councillor uh, President is doing. He is present and in feed us back. So by the time the police is, um, send the, um, the, the record recommendation, we're familiar with what we are looking for. Sometimes, like I told you in the last meeting, we're passing items that we don't know what we're passing. And when someone is stopped us on the street, we don't know what they're talking about. So thank you, Councillor Selena Reyes and Councillor uh, President. Uh, any questions, Councillors? No question. Yes. Motion to send document 9121 to offices Cano and also to table the item. Uh, motion to so so move. Motion has been made. Properly seconds. All those in favor? Aye. Say aye, Simon. Roll call for document 9121 that was sent to Officer Cano and also table, Councillor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. Councillor Selena Reyes. Councillor Selena Reyes. Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez. Yes. And Chairwoman Stella Reyes. Yes. Thank you, motion pass. Next doc document is 9421. Promote and endorse a traffic study improvement at five corners. And that also has been put in by our president. He's only going to be allowed in the future for two items, not three. He has for this time um so make sure yeah and your name was was um only three but the first item is also in your area so you allow the next time and in the future is only going to be two items you have the floor mister <laughs> thank you very much uh, madam chair and and uh i appreciate you giving me great latitude this evening to speak on more than two matters i do appreciate that uh, in all serious, now this is uh, these are all serious, of course, but this one is particularly serious. Um, this is five corners, and as a reminder, councils, I think you already know where this is. This is the intersection at five corners where the old water fountain was, and um, this is right in the hub of District F, and is part of the gateway. and And I don't need to remind you, Madam Chair and, and committee members, of that fatality that took place. Uh, I think about three weeks now. Um, late at night uh, on a Thursday morning where uh, a young mother was traveling to go to one of the fast food restaurants on Winthrop Ave and somebody was coming down on South Union Street at a very high rate of speed and actually hit the car and killing um, the, the woman, the mother who was in that car. And then there were other injuries as well. Uh, a, a tremendously sad um, and taking of life, it was it, it was awful. And if you had it, if you watched that video, and it's been circulating around, it's awful to it's awful to watch. Um, but this is a this is a, a one of the dangerous intersections in the entire city, and we need to pay attention to it. Now, fortunately, Council, uh, Madam Chair, um, this particular this this intersection is getting some attention, and that's fantastic. It's a bench needed, and what I'm asking for this committee to do is and i know there's attention being made to it and i want to thank the administration for giving it that attention but i think our voices need to be heard as well on this and i'm going to encourage you to do one of two things the first thing is i'm going to ask this committee 
if they wouldn't make a motion at some point this evening uh, to ask that uh, that that officially ask that our that our uh, that the administration make this uh, the top priority with respect to planning uh, and reviews so that we can find an engineering um, of, uh, correction, if you will, or a solution to this problem. Policing is not seeming to be a problem. There's plenty of police. We can always use more, of course, but they've been active. But it's more than that. Is We need some engineering to take place. So that's my first request that this committee can go ahead and it would I, I, it affects all of us, but I would have, I would love to get this committee on board and making that request. The second thing is after that request is made, I would ask this committee uh, to to re request um, this the maybe Franklin Miguel, Director Miguel, or maybe uh, uh, Felix Garcia, the uh, the city engineer, probably him, uh, to come and give give the committee and give us all an update as to where we stand on this because this is our forum, Madam Chair, for us to talk publicly about this. And this is our forum when our residents and our constituents and our community can watch and learn and see what's going on in our government. So I like I, I, I know good things are happening and I know that the administration is taking this very seriously. And I just wanna bring that more public so that we can see that. And so we're being responsive and we're not just sitting on our hands and they're actually doing something and that's not something that's been cast aside. So two things, bring it to the top of the list and also requesting at the next meeting at some time soon, uh, if you could bring maybe uh, the engineer and or the uh, DPW director or combination to come in and speak uh, about where we are in this process. Uh, thank you, Councillor President, for be taking um, this in consideration and in, in acting as so quick because um, something that I have noticed, unfortunately, after this tragic accident, is that when one set of light change, the other one is still in, I don't know if it's yellow, green, but I see cars still passing and fly when you have the right to go in green lights. How about if we, we also refer this item to uh, the fire department just for the lights to be checking up to make sure that the second the one has changes for the go, go to go is okay and safe and the other one is still in stop and red until that happens. How do you feel about that? Um, Madam Chair, thank you for asking. I, I honestly do not have any objections to that request because I think the more we can bring attention to it, the better it is. I, I, I will say, however, that I one of the first people that I think that I reached out to and I'm looking for it right now it is uh, the fire chief. Um, and I think that uh, he kind of sent me to um, over to the ing city engineer rather than to his department. Um, I, I, I don't think it will hurt, I, but we may he may he may deflect it at no fault of his own. But it doesn't hurt to try and see if, it, if there's some input or some uh, leverage that he can put on it. Maybe that could be helpful. Um, I would feel very very comfortable if he, this item also going to be referred to the fire department, even though they still have to go first to the city engineer, which I agree. We need to hear from them, feedback from both departments, city engineer, DPW, and, um, and fire department. So um, I think it, I agree with you. I mean, not I think I am 100% on your side that we need to have this more public just to let our constituents and all the Laurentians that we're not gonna let things happen. Uh, I mean, unfortunately we can have control how people drive, but at least they can see our um, concern when something, something like that happened. So uh, I'm just gonna open to the, you know, pass the floor to any other counselor that they might want to have a question and any suggestions at this time before we make the motion? Madam? Councilor <clears throat> De La Cruz? Yes, I think that um, um, also the constituent has to learn 
the we have a traffic light over there that is very dangerous but uh the walking when people are walking not not just driving but when people are walking sometimes they don't know how to cross around there then i think we need to put the signs on the floor for the walking people for the pedestrian and at the same time um to have the flashing light house uh, us to cross because the crossing over there is really difficult for anyone. Then uh, painting the floor will bring like a consciousness about way, you know, the driver is driving, but I, I'm walking and I want it to be safe as well. Then uh, I agree with council president of plants and we have to do something about that now. Um, I remember a couple of years ago when they, are, they were planning to do like a bridge around there and it, it never happened. Then this is the time to make to bring the changes that are needed for that specific um, diamond location where so sad to say that, uh, you know, we lost people in the community due to accident that could be avoided. But uh, with all of that, we are very thankful to have the cameras in there as well because the cameras are making a huge difference and, and for any details that are needed to be looked out, uh, we should go back to the camera to see, um, to study a little bit more about what's going on in that section that we needed to prevent uh, any other accident that will come. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any other counselor? So um, before we make this motion, but I think the way that we can make this urgent is just for our next ordinance meeting, we need to invite city engineer, officer Cano, um, to chief of uh, fire department. And also if we are gonna be on live and we're not gonna be virtual, any longer, so the family of that victim, because I've been getting a lot of calls, like if we're not planning to do anything. I know they're expecting to do something. We're not gonna bring this young mother back, but at least for them to know that we are working on something, that we are paying attention on a very, very dangerous intersection. How you all feel about that? Councilor President. I yes. think it's very important. Yes. So, um, so in the motion, I just want to bring, to thank correspondent and, and also to bring their report. You know, just to kind of explain, just to bring the report that whatever we decided to do, if we, they need more time, eventually we have to make and give more time. But uh, if they can bring something that is going to be permanent, something at least to start working with, we are going to, to pay attention to it. So the motion is to send this document to 949021 to first city engineer, second DPW director, third officer Cano, and four, uh, the chief of uh, the fire department, and also to table this item in the same motion, just to request the presence to all of them. So move. Second. Motion has, before I call the motion, Councillor uh, President, do you have something to add? Just one small thing. I, I was able to find an email that the fire chief sent me and he's, uh, he was responding to my concerns as because I have received your email, but it is not my office that decides how the traffic science go as far as the left turn. We were talking about the left turn that you were talking about. I believe this is either a police or a state issue. And that's when I switched over to, um, to the planning department with Pedro. I talked to uh, director Soto and I think to Mr. Garcia. So um, you certainly can bring the chief in, but I, I don't know how much he's going to be able to provide based on the communication he sent to me. No, I think we have to uh, withdraw the motion 
and just to take his name out okay. if he have responded to you. So why are we going to bring someone if he already give us his update in this item? So why do we have to bring him here? So the motion is to send this document and corresponded to be present to um, DPW director, planning department, Pedro Soto, Felix, Felix Garcia, city engineer, officer Cano. So it's gonna be Franklin Miguel, DPW director, city engineer, Felix Garcia, officer, police department officer, Cano, and planning department, um, head of the planning department, Pedro Soto. So can I hear a motion? Motion to approve, to send correspondence to them. Second. The motion has been made in table also. Um, has been made properly seconds. All those in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. Maria, can you read the motion? Before so, um, you the motion is to send correspondent for the net for um for the following to be present at the next um ordinance committee. Um DPW Director Franklin Miguel, City Engineer Felix Garcia, Planning Director. Planning Department Director Pedro Soto and Police Department Officer Cano, and also to table this item. Okay. Okay. So roll call. Councilor Salina Reyes. Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez. Yes. Madam Chair Estela Reyes. Yes. Thank you, motion pass. Thank you, thank you very much, counselors. I do appreciate it on behalf of the folks. We all have people we all represent, but I, this means a lot to, to the folks that I represent. So thank you so much. And as if I don't, if you don't mind, Madam Chair, um, Stockton Park on Thursday, I invite all of you to be with me at six o'clock, six to seven. We're going to be talking about the redesign at Stockton Park, which is right at the five corners. So if this is of interest to you, I'm letting you know that uh, we'll be we'll be there to talk with uh, Groundworks Lawrence to discuss. Um, and again, Councillor Selena Ray is very involved in this. Uh, thank you again. And, and so we're going to be meeting on, on that topic. So thank you very much. So what time is that? Six to seven o'clock on Thursday night at Stockton Park. Okay. Yes. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us, um, Councillor. Any table item? Yes, Madam Council, Madam Chair. Yes, Councillor De La. There is the item two five two dash twenty. There is the council salary review. It's two. What would say? What is, what is the page? Two fifty two. It is on page. One moment. One moment. My computer is getting dark. Uh, Phase two. Two fifty-two. Councillor Reyes. Two yes. five two. Okay. Um, can I get a motion to take document at a table at two five two dash twenty? So move. Second. Motion to take document 252 out of table has been made properly. Second. All those in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. Uh, roll call for document 25220 that was taken out of table. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Thank you, motion pass. Okay. 252 City Council Salary Review has been put on agenda by Councillor Vice Chair uh, Maria de la Cruz. Councillor de la Cruz. Yes, uh, Councillor. Um, Madam Chair, I put the item on, I put that, I requested the item because um, if we compare the salary of the city councillors in this city, 
and other cities, it is a shame the way that, um, that we get paid. And even if we don't benefit from, from that, um, this position is now um, attractive to young people because of the salary. Then we need to request a study on that. And we also need to send correspondence to the major because um, every time, every year, the gasoline goes up and the um, council of salary is still the same. Uh, we are forced to have a job, a full-time job, and take this job as a part-time job. As a community person, we do so much work with the community that the salary is not even, it's not even something that we can, that we can feel proud of then I believe the, the fair share to everybody, then it should be the fair share to counselors because of the work that we do as well. We work every day. I work every day. I work on Sundays. I met with President Laplan on Sunday. Then we don't have a specific time, a specific hour. If there is an emergency, we have to get up and go to the emergency location to see what we can do, how we can help. Um, if somebody, you know, through COVID-19, we have a lot of people, a lot of people that we have served, that we have put money from our pocket to be able to help out. Then um, I am, I'm, I'm not requesting this just because um, I, I don't see the, the difference between serving the community and between serving as a city counselor, but uh, we have to go for the fair share as well. Then I hope my dear counselors support me on this. We need to increase the salary of the city counselor. Even if I, you know, it will be nice if I don't come back, that's fine. But I will know that all the people will want to become city counselor and that the salary is, 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 is a fair share to them. Then um, it's my request. Thank you, and I expect the support of everybody on this. And I would like to send correspondent to council uh, to the um, to the mayor and to because he's the one that has the money and he can say, well, they deserve a better share or, or, or the pie. Then uh, you know they never thinking about us as hard workers. You know we made the city hold together. We are we are the body of getting all the information from outside. I'm bringing it to the city hall. And then uh, we are doing a very hard job. I do, I do my hard job. I think uh, just reading the budget, it takes me about five days because I go page by page. Then we just needed to get paid as we deserve. Um, that's my, my position. And I would like the, uh, to send a letter to the major that he can start talking about that. Um, any other counselor? No. So, uh, counselor by share. So, what you looking is to send this um, item to to the officer mayor just to see if he, he include that in the new budget. Uh, he can include it in the new budget or he can find money someplace else. I, I, I just see that it is not fair. We're not getting the fair part of according to the job that we do for the community. Then I think it's about time. Uh, I don't remember. I've been here for four years and I had never seen an increase. And, the, um, you know, some people must understand that this is a job like any other job that we do. And um, sometimes I think we do more. And to have this job as a part-time, you always have to have a full-time. Otherwise you cannot pay your bills. Then I remember my father was the city counselor in Dominican Republic, but he was honorific uh, chosen and it was no money involved. But we are in the United States where we are in a place where uh, we have to pay bills all the time. Then I think it's fair to us as a city councilor 
and it's fair for our community to understand that this salary, this salary is not a salary that I will go. You know, young people will never take this kind of job because the salary is not representing them. Okay, so the motion is to send this item do document 252-20 to in table also the item uh, to the um, mayor's office just to review and recommendation. Exactly. So can can I hear motion? Motion, um, motion has been made properly second. All those in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. A roll call for document 25220 that was sent to the mayor's office for review and recommendation and also table. Councillor Selena, Selena Reyes? Yes. Councillor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councillor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Madam Chair Estela Reyes? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Okay. We'll see. There's no any other item. Motion to yes. adjourn. Okay. Madam Chair, okay. the item 6621, Ulloa Parking, 66 and 67. Okay, can I get a motion to take document 66 and 67 out of table? Make a motion. As a block and as a block. Second. Motion has been made to take document 66 and 67 at a table and as a block has been made properly seconds. All those in favor? Aye. The ayes have it. Okay, roll call for documents 6621 and 6721 taken out of the table and as a block. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. And Madam Chair Stella Reyes. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you. Councilor de la Cruz. Yes, Madam Chair. Um, I was visiting um, the the location on on Ujoa business, and I requested um, Officer Cano to to participate with me. And we both find out that that company is serving the community, is supporting the community, and they have problem when they have to bring in the, the uh, contenedor, uh, the, big, the big truck when they have to load in and load out and they have problems and they are scared or hitting anybody who is parked at those locations then my request is that we um, support uh, this business by providing the parking space that he's requesting. And I would like to make a motion to, for a public hearing, I think is what is next, right? Um, Councillor, if, if I may. Yes. This document has been presented to us with uh, favorite recommendation by Officer Cano. What we decided to do, all the councilor president, it was, I mean, present, I'm sorry, that we all gonna be taking a trip and we are gonna be uh, aware what is gonna be happening because Councilor Selena Regis and myself has been getting complaints about the neighbors they need to be full aware what is going to be happening. The fact that they do not have parking inside of the house, they don't have driveway. So what we decided to do is for our next ordinance, they have from that meeting to this meeting and the next meeting, Councillor Gonzalez and Councillor Selena Regis and myself to go even with uh, Officer Cano and try to involve some of your constituition who has been calling um, Councilor Selena Regis, like five different uh, people and, um, and myself, just to get everybody in board. That they know what is gonna be happening, it's not affecting, it's only a car, because I think it's only fair for them to know what is gonna be happening in full aware that if we are, we are going to be 
putting a restrictions on that street, we need to know what time, because I don't think it's going to be, uh, they work 24 hours. It's no way that they can, they can prove me that they work 24 hours. And it's exactly what our counselor president will say. It's only the business operate. If they not open, they don't need that space. And the resident can benefit from that space because it's nice out. We can park anywhere. We can walk two blocks if we need to. But in the winter time, it's very uncomfortable just to be parking three blocks away and have a space in front of the house. That was the, the, the concern that has brought up to Councilor Selena Reyes and myself. We were together when they called us. So uh, you're gonna be part of that meeting as well. And just to kind of let everybody know because they know that you like to work not only with the businesses, not only with the person that you know, not only for the person who called you first, but also with your constituents. I remember it's not the whole block. It's only one car across and one car on the right side of the business because um, people need a lot of parking. I wouldn't agree if there were three parking spaces. It's only one parking at the front because of the, of the truck getting out of the building and going and loading in then we're not asking for three or four parkings. It's only one parking to the right side and one parking at the front. Very yes. short spaces. Yes. And, and that is why Officer Cano was sent with favorable recommendation. But the fact that they called Councilor Selena Reyes and they also called me, and you're going to be introducing to those people. We have no problem for you to talk to them. They want to meet not only with you, but also with Officer Cano for them to see what is going to happen in my area, what is going to happen in front of my house, uh, you know, how many spaces is going to be taken. We already told them it's only going to be one. It's not, it's not taking three spaces. We explained that. They need to hear from you. They need to hear from Officer Cano, and we need to be present. We need to be present just for them. They don't need to be, I mean, Counselor um, Gonzalez, in, in myself, I don't need to be present, but you and Counselor Regis, you can be present, I have no problem, but just talk to those constituents and just explain, look, this is what is gonna happen. And the reason that I wanna be including myself is because I'm passing the ordinance, but I'm also want to make sure that I'm not the one to make that decision. We collectively make that decision. This is not only a modern share, this is not a modern vice chair, this is not a counselor large, but a, a counselor Regis and myself. We were together when they start calling. How do they know that we were together because we were working in another different item in my district and they start calling. So we not denial and we already explained to them, but also just for them to feel comfortable, we want you to be part of that because we don't wanna go and jump on top of you. I mean, this is your item. This is your area. We have to respect in that you didn't, you, you wasn't part of the last meeting and that's why we didn't pass. Okay, but I'm welcome to go to with everybody and yeah. just yeah. I'm so, uh, participate. And, um, yeah. you know, um, I'm very happy when the people in the community get engaged as well because they need to know what's going to happen. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. The problem uh, with this, truck is that um, they load at night, sometimes mm -hmm. at 9 p.m. or sometimes at 1 p.m. Um, and that's the problem that the, when, when coming in and going out. Besides that, um, I don't think we should take more than two cars. Then the one parking up front and one parking on the right side because it is a very uh, crowded area and people need the parking spaces as well. Officer Conner, for it, for it, um, for helping out. Yeah, uh, Officer Connor was defending that point, and he's agree. He's just passing exactly the same information because he went with you, and he also has mentioned that. But since we can all four go together, so what I'm going to ask Councilor Selena Reyes if she allowed me to go instead of her. 
So I can go with you and Officer Cano. They always, I encourage them just to pass by and see the area. But since that I was with her and they call me and they call her, so uh, we can three go together. So we, I can go with you and Officer Cano um, and Councilor Selena Reyes, if she allows me. Uh, Madam Chair, I don't have any inconvenience. Uh, okay. We can do both together or you can go. Yes. Uh, we consider De La Cruz. Yes. Thank okay, you. So, um, thank you. Thank you, Councilor Selena Reyes. I can go, uh, I mean, it's already four. So we three can go together, but um, it, which is not going to be a problem either. What we can now have is four together. So, but uh, just to be safe, if you, if you allow us, Councilor De La Cruz and myself to go, and then we can go after you and I, so that would make work. Because I also want the people who was calling you to let they see you, that you was taking attention to this matter, okay? I feel very happy that all the counselors are working in my community and that we can work together as a team. It's really, it's really make a difference when ideas are coming from all of us, not just from one person. Exactly. They have to work as a team, I'm a team player and I love that you guys are gonna come to participate. Just give me a call when you have time. I have time Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. No, uh, so no, no one is working in your in your district. The only one who can work is, is Councillor Alarge. And they was calling so Councillor the Regis when I was with her. But she I'm had, happy, I'm happy that that is happening. You know, that yeah. people are their their counselors because um sometimes we more than three we can see better than of course, than, of course. than one yeah. person yeah. and as a team player I, I love it i just love it that's a that's a teamwork team effort uh but it's, it's like i say you know when they call me the first thing i say that's not my district i have to speak with the council the district counselor but they also call uh, Councillor Selena Reyes, who can jump in because she is for the whole entire city. So, um, but yes, we can. We are going to be setting a meeting, individual, and then we are going to be talking with those residents. Okay. Okay. So uh, we have to motion to table document sixty six and sixty seven as the block. So move. Second. Motion has been made, properly second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. A roll call for documents 6721 and 6621 six, and 6721 that was stable as a block. Councilor Selena Reyes? Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz? Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez? Yes. Madam Chair Stella Reyes? Yes. Motion pass. Thank you. Okay. So, any other items? None. Can I get a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. Motion has been made. Properly seconds. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Roll call to adjourn at eight o'clock p.m. Councilor Selena Reyes. Yes. Councilor Maria de la Cruz. Yes. Councilor Jorge Gonzalez. Yes. And Madam Chair Stella Reyes. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you. Thank you all. Good evening, all, and thank you for being present. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Maria Holleran, thank you for taking notes. Joan Mejia for recording our meeting and this uh, technical support. Thank you all. Thank and you. And see you soon. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good night. Good night. Have a good, good night. night. Thank you. Thank you.